In order to start a discussion of cryptographic algorithms, we have to look at some binary math. Really simple stuff. We tend to use binary math in most cryptographic algorithms because it's an easy way to transform data in a very predictable way. Let's take a look at the AND, the OR, and the exclusive OR, often represented by the XOR. Again, these operators are convenient ways to combine two values in a predictable manner. These are binary operators, so they take two input values and produce one final output value. And they also work using binary inputs. They use two inputs and then each input is of the binary base or base two. So the binary name here is kind of a double entendre. Basically we have the AND, the OR, and the exclusive OR. If you provide input values of zero or one for either one of the two inputs, they are combined to give us the results that we see in the table. In other words, zero and zero results in a zero. 1 and 0 results in a 0. So basically the only time that the AND operator returns to us the value of 1 is if the two inputs are both 1's. The OR is the opposite of the AND. It's kind of tough to talk about the binary operators because those words are also used exclusively or, or used a lot in English. So we're doing a lot of ANDs and ORs both in the description and the mathematics. But we have an OR if neither input is true or 1, then the output is false. It's not true. If either of the inputs will be a 1 value, then the output will be a 1. So that's the OR operator. And then finally we get into the exclusive OR, which basically says that one of the inputs is a 1, but not both. That's what the exclusive OR function is. And we tend to use the XOR or the exclusive OR function to combine values to give us a convenient combination or a convenient transformation of our data. So we're going to see that pop up here in a few more minutes.